Hi everyone, my name is Mandeep and in today's video we are going to discuss about uh, the decision trees. Decision trees, uh, as the name suggests, decision trees are basically uh, some is a, some sort of tree which is create, created based on some decision. And decision trees are used for classification problems in the field of machine learning. So um, just a quick example, let's say you have a data set of 100 records and uh, based on some um, and let's say you have three features F1, F2 and F3 and you want to divide these 100 records into uh, these three features so you create a tree this is in tree how you create a tree uh, you create a root node which basically represents the complete data set and then um, and that node is named as root node then you divide based on some certain decision take some decision and then uh, let's say you divide it into two 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 classes or two nodes and let's say each node has let's say 60 and 40 then these nodes are uh, uh, termed as decision nodes so decision nodes uh, are the nodes which we get after splitting the root node these are called decision nodes uh, the same way we keep splitting till uh, and we keep splitting till the uh, point whereas in we cannot split further or the splitting further doesn't make any much difference or doesn't make any uh, sense so uh, where splitting stops and at last that node is uh, node termed as leaf node so this is my leaf node so uh, this is these are the terminologies about uh, um, decision tree now uh, before creating a decision tree uh, we need to understand few other terms or terminologies uh, how we create a decision tree so those are let's say one is entropy so what is entropy entropy is uh, um, basically basically randomness so it it is nothing but the uncertainty in our data set or the disorder of uh, measure of disorder in our data set and it is uh, calculated based on some formula and the formula is let's say entropy of s s represents the subset of our training example and minus p of positive class and log p of positive let me write it again log p of positive minus p of negative class and log p of negative so um, here uh, p positive is is equal to the probability of positive class and uh, p negative is the probability of negative class and s is the uh, subset of let's say my training example so um, um, don't get uh, afraid about these terms it's just a one formula and using this formula we try to find out the randomness or um, entropy in our data set once we find the entropy then we uh, find the information gain uh, using this entropy and uh, again for that part uh, is also uh, there is a formula for information gain information gain is basically um, um, is basically measures the reduction of uncertainty given some feature uh, for example uh, let's say um, 
um, in simple terms uh, entropy and information gain are inversely uh, have a relation of inversely proportion so if my entropy increases my in information gain will decrease and if my entropy entropy means uh, uh, my randomness if my randomness will increase then my information gain will decrease if my uh, information gain will increase then my entropy will decrease that means my uh, randomness will decrease so again for this information gain there is also a formula um, i'm just writing these formulas and because um, so what is this uh, this is uh, this represents the entropy of full data set which is generally uh, e taken as one or equal to one and this e of y given x so uh, entropy of uh, data set given some feature so uh, this is my feature and this is entropy of again for this uh, to calculate this uh, we also have uh, we will be calculating with the example so i'm just right at this point of time i'm just writing introducing these terms and their respective formulas so um, in nutshell entropy is the randomness or uh, how much uh, uh, random our data is and information gain is basically uh, kind of inversely proportional to entropy uh, so basically we first find information uh, sorry entropy then we, from that entropy we find the information gain so for each feature uh, we find the information gain and the for the feature uh, which has a uh, information gain value as more based on that we will split our uh, tree so uh, the idea is like uh, let's say for example let's say uh, i'm just taking a, a basic example let's say uh, i have uh, 30 data 30 data points and um, these data points are let's say about a person is going uh, will go to gym or not so assume that these 30 data out of these 30 16 people go to gym which is let's say yes and 14 people don't go to gym now assume that we have two feature feature one is let's say based on energy uh, and it could have two values high and low and let's say my another feature is my motivation let's say it could have three values no motivation neutral and highly motivated so guys in this section we what we are trying to do uh, we based on this data set we are going to use the concept of entropy information gain and based on those concept we will be constructing our decision tree and that would help us uh, to uh, classify this data so uh, this is the thing that we are going to do and this is the problem statement uh, we have a data set of 30 data points out of those 30 data points uh, which is kind of distributed into two uh, like uh, 16 people go to gym and 14 doesn't go to and uh, we have two feature and these two feature have uh, these values high low uh, energy can have so if you will uh, write it into a tabular form let let me write it into a table form let's say my uh, energy motivation and uh, gym uh, so it could be like high motivation uh, sorry energy is high let's say and motivation is no motivation and let's say gym is no so uh, and again let's say if we have energy as low 
and uh, again it has no motivation and it is again no and let's say energy is high and motivation has high motivation and it goes to gym so this way let's say we have 30 records these 30 records now using this data we are going to uh, we are going to um, draw our decision tree so how we are going to uh, draw our decision tree let me uh, create this decision tree now and again we will be using information gain to uh, decide which feature should be the root node and which feature should be uh, placed after the split so for um, uh, uh, let's say to get started uh, we uh, have let's say 16 yes and 14 no which i uh, and now uh, i am uh, dividing my this data set further into based on the feature of energy so again we have two feature one is energy and the another feature is my motivation first i am uh, trying based on energy so if my energy and energy had two values uh, high and low energy high and energy low energy low now uh, and let's say after dividing this uh, for example this is divided into uh, 12 yes and one no and uh, 12 and let's say 4 yes and 13 no so um, I just uh, created using uh, a simple uh, using this feature uh, so what I am going to do uh, first I will create a uh, uh, this decision tree using this feature I will calculate entropy and then information gain and then um, I will note down the information gain uh, using this decision that means if I am dividing my data set based on the decision of energy then I will calculate what will be my information gain value and I will note it down and the same thing I will repeat for my another feature and uh, I will note uh, it uh, I will note down the value of information gain in that case as well so out of these two um, whatever the information gain will be higher we will take that as a feature uh, to divide our data set so uh, first we are trying with this so to calculate entropy uh, first we will calculate the entropy of this this root node so to calculate the entropy uh, i just wrote the formula uh, so what will be the entropy of parent e of parent it will be like uh, so uh, what was the formula let me just quickly write down the formula So formula was like negative of P of positive class log P of positive minus P of negative and then log P of negative class. So uh, uh, here minus probability of positive probability of positive is like 16 is the positive record and total records are 30 then log of p positive is again 16 by 30 minus uh, p negative is 14 by 30 uh, because my there are 14 no and uh, total value uh, total records were 30 so this is my probability of negative class and log of 14 by 30 
uh, if we take uh, we, i have already calculated this part earlier so if we take solve this this value comes out to be 0.99 and the same way we will calculate the uh, energy uh, sorry entropy of parent uh, given my energy is high that means now i have moved on to this branch now if i calculate using the same formula using the same formula uh, minus of p positive is 12 and my total records were in this node were 13 and log of log of same uh, 12 by 13 minus and uh, the same way um, this is my negative value 1 by 13 um, sorry this is my uh, negative value 1 by 13 and log of 1 by 13 so uh, guys now i am calculating uh, energy uh, sorry entropy of parent given this decision when energy is high then this entropy comes out somewhere 0 0.39 i am writing it because i have already solved this problem um, and calculated it earlier now the same way i will calculate it for entropy of parent given energy is low now i have moved on to this node the same way i will calculate it so here positive uh, values are 4 4 by 17 log of 4 by 17 and then minus um, these are my uh, negative value negative values are 13 and total values are 17 and then log of uh, then log of uh, 13 by 17 this comes out somewhere 0 0.79 so now uh, i'm going to write down the entropy with these uh, sorry with these nodes uh, this is my energy high and this is my low and here entropy was 0 0.99 here entropy was this 0 0.39 here entropy was 0 0.79 now after calculating this after calculating this uh, what we will do uh, i am going to uh, kind of uh, average these uh, based on since we uh, i am going to ever take an i want to take an average of these entropies based on when energy uh, based on when we are divide uh, when we are taking a decision based on energy so uh, to take an average entropy of these what i will do so uh, again uh, i have calculated this uh, entropy of parent given uh, the energy decision uh, when it was high it was 0 0.39 and entropy of parent given energy was low it was 0 0.79 now uh, based uh, as a whole uh, i want to take uh, i want to take an average of it so how i will take average of it average of it will be like my for to, uh, for high energy there were my 13 records and uh, total records were 13 into 0 0.39 this was the my entropy and plus uh, there were 17 records for low energy uh, total records were 30 and this was my entropy for this this node so on an average my uh, this value comes out to be 0 0.62 uh, so on an average uh, my entropy based on energy decision will is is something 0 0.62 now uh, if i want to find out the information gain which was our ultimate goal uh, so information gain is like 
entropy of parent minus entropy of parent given so so this symbol represents uh, given energy given energy as a decision uh, sorry guys for the writing uh, but uh, i hope uh, you if you guys are following it religiously it will make sense to you so uh, this this was my 0.99 we already calculated this value and this is my given energy which we just calculated we took average of these two values 0.39 and 0.79 which was 0.62 so information gain for this node is 0.37 so information gain uh, so i am writing here again iz1 represents the information gain when we are taking decision based on um, my energy so iz1 is 0.37 now we will calculate iz2 based on when we are dividing it based on the another feature which was motivation which i wrote here motivation now let us divide this same data set into i'm just taking so now we can rub all these values now we are done with using energy feature as a decision and dividing our data set into uh, sub nodes now let's say my feature 2 i divide my uh, data set of 30 records uh, using my uh, the another feature motivation so uh, here 16 were yes and 14 were no and i discussed earlier that we have three values for this uh, motivation field uh, motivation feature no motivation and then neutral n and hm highly motivated and i divided into with some values uh, you can assume that uh, there is some table given and based on uh, those values we i divided into let's say seven were yes one was nine no and um, let's say for here four yes six na no and uh, five yes and seven no so you can see seven for 11 and 5 16 16 yes 1 6 7 and 7 14 14 9 no so basically uh, now my data is divided into this way um, using this decision the same way we will calculate the uh, information gain for this as well and uh, once we calculate the information gain then we will check that which value is higher then we will be sure that um based on which we should uh, divide our uh, we should make a decision so the process would be same our e parent wa is going to be same which we have already calculated entropy for parent parent node this node now i will calculate for each of these node entropy of parent uh, we here we have no motivation entropy of parent uh, we have so it is uh, written something like this way entropy of parent given motivation where value of motivation is let's say no motivation this one so how uh, the formula is going to be same uh, minus of 7 by uh, 8 7 by 8 means probability of positive class so here total is 8 so 7 by 8 and then log of then log of 7 by 8 
माइनस फोर नेगेटिव क्लास वन वन बाय एट लोग ऑफ वन बाय एट एंड इफ यू कैलकुलेट इट इट विल कम आउट समवेयर जीरो पॉइंट फाइव फोर द सेम वे द सेम वे वी विल कैलकुलेट इट द सेम वे वी विल कैलकुलेट इट ई ऑफ पेरेंट गिवन मोटिवेशन वेयर मोटिवेशन इज न्यूट्रल एंड हेयर पॉजिटिव नंबर ऑफ रिकॉर्ड्स आर फोर टोटल नंबर ऑफ रिकॉर्ड्स आर टेन लोग ऑफ फोर बाय टेन माइनस नेगेटिव नेगेटिव आर सिक्स एंड टोटल आर टेन and log of 6 by 10 and if you solve this value it comes out somewhere 0.97 and the same way we will calculate entropy of parent given motivation uh, is highly motivated this node for this node uh, positive number of values are 5 total values are 5 plus 7 12 and uh, then log of same value and um, 7 by 7 negative value 7 by 12 log of same value 7 by 12 and um, this value will come out to be um, somewhere uh, 0.98 so if we will take it like this way entropy of parent was 0.99 now entropy of parent with no motivation is 0.54 entropy for this was 0.97 entropy for this was 0.98 now guys uh, uh, since we are dividing based on the feature motivation but it has three different values so we have three uh, different uh, entropies so what we will do we will take average of these three values this one this one and this one just like we did in uh, our previous case so average will be like how we will take average average will be like how many number of records are here total 8 and 8 um, number of records at this node 7 positive 1 negative and overall how many records were there 30 so 8 by 30 into what was the entropy of it 0.54 the same way um, how many records are there 10 4 and 6 10 how many total records 30 how many what is the entropy 0.97 and the same way uh, 12 5 plus 7 12 total records at this node 12 overall 30 records and what was the entropy 0.98 so what will be the um, entropy of Uh, parent given the motivation so it will come out somewhere 0.86 this value and uh, now how uh, information gale will will calculate this value minus this value 0.99 minus 0.86 which comes out to be somewhere 0.13 so now 0.13 so the whole uh, concept here comes out to be like is like we have 30 records we have 30 records and uh, uh, 13 records are like 16 people wants to go to gym and 14 people don't go to gym why and and based on these two features so again let me create this table to make it more understanding so assume that uh, we have energy motivation and one column as gym go to gym or not let's say my energy is low motivation is high and let's say i go to gym 
my energy is high motivation is neutral uh, i go to gym energy is low uh, motivation is no motivation i don't go to gym so like this way we have 30 records so now um, we come to a point where as in we need to decide using these uh, these two features based on which feature we should divide our records so to to make that decision we did all this thing and we calculated information gain for each of the feature for information gain for this feature was 0.37 and the for information gain for another feature was 0.13 so whatever the information gain is higher we take that feature uh, and we as a decision maker and we take that feature and we divide based on that feature uh, our data further and this thing keep going on uh, until our uh, decision tree is complete so guys this is how decision tree actually works uh, i know there are lots of uh, maths and another calculations are included in this part but uh, uh, no need to afraid because uh, there are libraries available in python already which uh, do all those stuff but i just uh, demonstrated all these thing to make a better understanding about the decision tree how the things actually works behind the curtain so uh, that's all for now in this video uh, thanks for thanks one and all thanks for watching uh, see you guys in my next video bye thank you